I know we've reached the bottom. But what happened to Zora Madras? There's no place else for it to go. I think we should split up and look. She can't hold that thing off. Uh, we've got to help her. I hope she's okay. What's good, everyone? It's your boy Dak Nine aka the Dig Dug himself. And ladies and gents, your man is here to give you some more of that Monster in the World gameplay. And today we're looking at a fan favorite, uh, one that a lot of people's like, "Oh, Dak, I can't wait for you to fight this guy," uh, kind of monster. Um, I forgot to pronounce the name. It's like Odegaron. O, O D O, G A R O N. I think that's how you spell his name, but I'm just gonna call him O Dog because he's like a dog. His first name gives an O. It reminds me of the Wu Tang affiliate U God, but like instead of a U, it's an O. Instead of God, it's a dog backwards kind of thing. That's what that's what I'm feeling anyway. AKA Thriller Jacket, as my man likes to call him. Anyway, so here we go. We got my man O Dog right here, and truth be told, yo, he's a fun fight. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people said he was really, really quick, and he is quick, but the issue with his quickness, I guess you could say, is the fact that it's not like his moves are highly telegraphed is that you can easily whiff punish this guy so what i mean by whiff punishing is he'll throw out an attack and then there's recovery time between each time or each attack or whatever what you will do is attack between uh that recovery window now it's a lot easier for me to do it as a lance i can have my guard up and then i can actually attack from my guarded pose where not everyone else can do this kind of thing so if you're like sword and shield well you can do it with sword and shield if you're like dual well, you can probably die, die. if you're not lance <laughs> Uh, you can have a you can have a shield of some sort. It might be a little difficult to whiff punish, but then again, it's not impossible to do. Um, he does kind of have a couple of attacks that go through set patterns, so he does become quite predictable. Uh, he almost always finishes out his uh, I almost call it a short. Uh, that's a street fight terminology. Uh, <laughs> almost then again, so is jab. But anyway, he'll jab at you. Uh, with, with, with one hand, then it might come for a body attack, and then he'll do this really interesting attack that I myself not fully, I don't fully understand it, like he'll jump directly in your face, flip his tail. Now the weirdest thing is, depending on like where he jumps, and I'm not, I'm not saying he like picks exactly where, but between the attack itself and your positioning towards him, he might whiff this particular jump attack. And when he does, uh, he he saves himself because he jumps so far back that you could you literally cannot whiff punish this guy unless you're a range uh, a ranged you know person like Bo or something like that because he jumps way out of the range of anything he could possibly do. Not even the leaping lunging attack with the lens can actually reach this man here. But um, he does hit pretty hard. And one of his key things about him is that he has the bleeding. Thing. So I believe so far he's the only monster I've ever, I've ever fought with bleeding. I'm not super far in the game. Personally, as, I, as I'm speaking to you right now, I'm just in a high rank. And uh, I haven't fought any newer monsters in high rank yet outside of the ones that we've literally already made videos for. So once um, once I get further, I'll probably be able to like say, yo, there's some other people with it. But regardless, as it stands right now, he's the only one with bleeding. How to get rid of bleeding, if I have not said before, is once, once you've been hit with the ailment itself, you would need to crouch. Now, you need to crouch and stay still. You can crouch and walk and it'll take longer. But crouching... Uh, alleviates the bleeding also if you take a bit of meat I'm not sure if rations work I'm not 200 on that but well done steak or the Astera jerky that re that recovers red health if you have it can also be used to get rid of the bleeding and the cool thing about the bleeding is that once you heal from the bleeding all the red health that you accrued 
because you were bleeding gets restored so uh, you don't have to take a potion afterwards it just once it's gone boom you get all your red health back so you can go from 150 all the way down to like three and then once you alleviate the bleeding boom you're back in action so it's really really cool but um yeah like honestly when it comes to really fighting this guy it's all about really watching what he does he attacks very quickly you know so he attacks quickly he attacks swift he has a lot of weird attacks where he'll jump all around and you have to you literally are gonna have to look for him there's a couple of times where i'm looking for the guy like man he jumped and i don't know where he went you know and especially once he gets toward towards his home like where he would go to rest he would actually start jumping off the walls and things like that i'm sure he'll probably jump off walls in between them but more notably so once he's in his little home base where he sleeps which i've said before seems to be the case with monsters in this game once you actually chase the monster down to where they call whatever they call home that's when they really start to shine as their as as themselves i mean like every monster kind of does it like i feel like that they, they, they know they're on their last leg so they they pull out all the stops you know what I mean? And then their environment that they're in actually helps them too because they start using their environment a lot more effectively. So uh, once you get him knocked down to that level, that's when it's going to be a little tougher for you because, I mean, he, like I say, he pulls no punches and it's it's, 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 a, little, it's a little extra. But anyway, let's talk about my man's uh, gear because that's also very important because his gear is actually quite amazing. Astonishing, really. A lot of people really love using this gear and for good reason. I mean, he has some real good stuff. But right after, of course, we're looking at his set skill now like i said before monsters starting from lagania i think that's pronounced his name onwards they will have what's no, what i'm referring to as like set skills where if you wear x amount of pieces from that particular set you get this free skill and my man's right here is punishing draw what it does is add the stun effect to draw attacks and slightly increases attack power so let's say you're not a hammer let's say you're a great sword your draw attack will now have the stunning capabilities. So if you actually do enough draw attacks to a monster in the head, you could knock him out with punishing draw. So it's actually really cool. It also increases attack a little bit, so that's nice. Next skill we have is bleeding resistance. Uh, that, that's fair. S doing part of the fact that my man himself actually does cause the bleeding. So um, that's really nice. Reduces the damage while uh, bleeding, so that way your red health actually doesn't go down way, way too much. It's, it's just a little bit. Next, we're looking at Critical Eye. Increase your affinity by 3%. Now, this is one of those skills where, like, by itself is literally nothing. You have to really stack it on. Once you get to stack it on, it gets actually really good. Up to 30% affinity at the very end there. But I would honestly, personally, just... If, if it was me, if your boy had to get some affinity, I'm looking at about 20. 20 is the highest I'll go gemming in for affinity. Cause, I mean, 30 is a lot, but, like, if you get 20 affinity and you have a weapon with, like, 15 affinity, that's 35 affinity. That's every... What's one third of the time you're gonna do a critical? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm cool with that, unless I'm really going for a crit set. Anyway, critical eye, what it does is it allows you to have a chance for a critical hit doing, I believe, double damage to uh, the target as opposed to whatever your normal damage would normally be. I don't think it's double, actually. It's just an increased damage, but you, you get it. Critical hits, you know, critical hits. We know what those are. Constitution reduces fixed stamina depletion by 10%. We talked about Constitution quite a few times before, and we know what it's about. So we don't really have to, like, focus too much on it just know that once you have it on uh stamina will be drained just a little bit less as for guarding and dashing i don't know about dashing but stamina is reduced next we're looking at quick sheath this is a really good ability really good mind you uh speeds up weapon sheathing so let's say you're actually it's not even that strong anymore because back in the day weapons used to take forever to sheath like now they have new animations for sheathing like like switch axe switch axe used to take forever if you were in axe mode you had to go from axe mode, um, excuse me, if you were in sword, you had to go from sword to axe and then sheath. It was a lot longer than it was before. Same with the charge blade. Now it's just like, bloop, put it up. So I don't want to say it's like useless, but it's not, it's not as super sought off, sought off, sought after. Uh, I can't talk today because, I mean, weapons don't take that long to really sheath anymore. But anyway, regardless, it does increase the speed in which you can sheath it. So instant sheathing is really cool too, I suppose. And lastly, we're looking at speed sharpening. Now, this skill is a new boon because before it didn't used to take as long as it does now to sharpen your weapon. Now it takes a little longer to sharpen a weapon. I'm almost certain of it. I will have to make a side-by-side -side comparison video later for my own personal uh, benefit. And maybe for, for you guys' use later on. But I personally feel as if sharpening your weapon in this game takes a little longer than it used to before. So speed sharpening, wherever you can get it, is actually nice. What it does is, level 1, takes off a cycle. Uh, one sh one like cycle from when you sharpen your weapon. So if you look at your character when you sharpen the weapon he'll go one two three four like like he'll you'll hear him shink 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 it takes one of them shinks off did i really just say a sound effect whatever uh but, but you get it regardless that's that his weapons are actually really good if you guys remember the kuliyaku's weapons that had the plus 15 affinity 
same thing. Literally, his weapons are like just like his, but just like more attack and a little bit better sharpness. Also, lastly, his armor, um, as is very good. His weaknesses, though, is ice. Number one weakness is ice. Uh, then you're looking at thunder. Everything else is pretty resilient too. So I mean, he, he's he's a pretty solid monster to be told. So his gear is nice. Now, now that we got that out of the way, that's pretty much all I really have when it comes to talking about stuff with O-Dog. I mean, like I said, he is a bit of a challenge. I'll admit, he was pretty quick, so for everyone who was like, yo, Dak, he's mad quick, you're right. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but with the Lance, he's pretty much no threat right now anyway. I have to fight him in high rank to really to really see if he's uh, a threat. Because, I mean, I had I had no trouble all fighting this guy solo with the Lance right here. I mean, it, it, it was child's play almost. But, um... Not everyone can be as Lance savvy as your man's right here, but just know that he's going to be doing some very wild attacks. He's going to be jumping, he's going to be sprinting, he's going to be hopping, doing some backflips and everything. Watch for these attacks, understand his movements, because once you really get his moving patterns down, he should be easier for you to actually approach with a bit of offense, because uh, if, you're not know, if you don't know what you're doing, it can be a bit daunting, simply because uh, he overwhelms you, he pressures you to the utmost extreme. I mean, he forces that... They rush down and attack against your into your brain there, making it a little bit tougher for people who don't necessarily know how to approach a monster who's really quick to approach a monster of his caliber. So as it stands, I mean, fairly solid monster. Thank you guys for recommending the fight. I mean, I was gonna fight him anyway, but you guys were like, yo man, I bet you can't wait to do it. So I mean, you hyped it up and then you hyped it up for good reason. Uh, he's a very popular armor armor choice online, be it low and high rank, because I mean his skills his skills are actually very good. That's that's good armor right there. None of those skills are terrible. Uh, bleeding resistance is, I want to say it's part and partial to himself because he himself actually has the bleeding thing. But other than everything else is solid. I mean, I'll take all of them skills any day. I'll put any of them skills on any set and then call it a win-win-win. But, um, yes, with that being said, everyone, that's pretty much everything I have. Uh, it's been your boy, Dak908, aka the Dig Dug himself. This video is done. Okay, it's done. I mean, I, I'm looking at the video right now. He's not dead, but it, it it's a done deal. Okay, it's a done deal. You, you, you've seen it all. But I will, there he is in Zed now. But I will see you all later in the next video. The next one will be Rathalos. And I'll admit, it is going to be the worst video I've ever uploaded in my life. I'm going to let you know right now, that Rathalos video is going to be absolutely terrible. I mean, it's gonna, I'm going to give you the information, but the gameplay is going to be terrible. It is going to be, I, I just have to keep it, simply because it is the exact way on how not to fight Rathalos. We get it done, but boy... Do we like wah, because I it's my PlayStation 4 playthrough and when I did it on the Xbox I did it in like 16 minutes or like 15 minutes something like that decent time on <laughs> the video you guys are getting is 25 minutes long <laughs> so you know I messed up a couple of times in there so it, it gets really it gets really rough in that video but uh, we pull it through but it's definitely a good video to show you guys how not to fight them and all the mistakes I did letting you guys know that I am human so from a good video where I completely decimated the monster to a bad video where I completely get molly bopped and slopped against the guy but anyway it's been your boy Dak and I'm gonna holler at y'all later take care